I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaga Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? It's a great day. And we have an author's edition today. I am telling you, I am loving, loving authors. I mean, if if anything, I would love and I aspire to be an author. I just don't know what it takes. And that's why I have all of these amazing guests on the show to show me, not you, forget you. It's all about me right now, okay? I need to know. And that's why we have our next guest on the show. And now I want to say Ty, right? Yes, Ty. <laughs> Ty, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So tell us about yourself. Yeah, my name is Ty Olamigoke. Um, I'm currently pastor in a church called House of David Church. And... Uh, before then, I worked as a mechanical engineer and also a systems engineer here in the United States. Uh, and I started working full time as a pastor, you know, uh, almost 19 years ago. Wow. And the reason why, and the reason why I had to go on full time was because of my experience in life, you know, after college, I was I was sick in Africa, Nigeria specifically, and God healed me. And God asked me to to go and start preaching the gospel. So mm. that is the reason why I was sick for three years. I died briefly during the sickness. Uh, the reason why I wrote for my first book called Healing for the Incurable. So since then, I've been interested in, in writing. So that's wow. the uh, summary about me. <laughs> wow, wow. You know, I know that people are saying right now, okay, wait, you died? Tell, yes. me, tell me about that. <laughs> what was that? I mean, not many people that die come back. Come back. <laughs> I exactly. know. Exactly. And so you have a little, a little bit more of an experience than, than most of us do. What was that like? I, after studying engineering in uh, the country of India, I went back home to Nigeria. And uh, at the University of Ibadan, you know, I became sick because when you, uh, when you go to college over there or university, uh, as a graduate, you know, the government who enroll you into like paramilitary, <laughs> you're going to serve the government for one whole year. So they were drilling us, you know, the military soldiers were drilling us every morning. We were, probably that was the cause of the sickness. And it kept on going on and on and on and on and no medical reason for the sickness, no diagnosis. So it took three good years and food was not staying in me. I threw up everything I ate and drank. Uh, and eventually, you know, uh, January of one year, I passed, I passed on. <laughs> and when I passed on, I, I saw, I, I left my body and I went like going towards heaven. And when I got to heaven, I saw Jesus in front of a big gate and I saw some brethren on the other side of the gate uh, and uh, in white and they were all jubilating, they were all singing. So when I saw Jesus at the gate, I said, Lord, you did not promise me this. In essence, you didn't promise that I was going to die young. So immediately my, I came back to my body, I opened my eyes and I asked my dad to rush me to the hospital. And I slept overnight at the hospital. Uh, but the sickness did not go until Jesus came one night in my, into my bedroom through the roof. And he laid his hands on me. And he flew away. And since that night, I was healed and I started eating. So after that, God came in a dream that... No matter what you do in life, what you become in life, you have to preach the gospel. The reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you better. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all okay. I got to say. You better. <laughs> 
My goodness. My goodness. Wow. Wow. So since then you've been preaching the gospel and, and now you're pastoring a church. What is that like for you? Because I know that wasn't the original purpose or the original plan that you had, but after you said that you would, you know, you, you, you better, you know, you, you, you better do this. Um, what was it like for you? I feel fulfilled, you know, uh, because there is a purpose for everything in this life, uh, and and that is you know your your purpose will make you happy, and that is what I'm experiencing. Uh, I, I I strongly believe that I'm in my purpose in this world, because there is a purpose of a tree. The Bible says that there is a purpose for everything in this life. So, and since I was led by God Himself to do what I'm doing, I I love helping people. <laughs> I love, I love helping people. Not only my members, you know, in our church we we go on crusade. This year we went to Costa Rica, you know, to help people. We took our medical team there. We prayed for people. We did uh, so many things, you know. Uh, took their blood pressure, their sugar problem, and and eye problems, and we 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 are we are a team and. We, we don't take money from anybody. Whenever we go out, we spend our own personal money. And I feel fulfilled, you know, helping people. That's amazing. A lot mm. of people talk about that, but they don't do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's That to me, that, that speaks volumes to me. And especially since, you know, you have a book out called Christian and Leadership, Hidden Traps to Avoid Warning Pastors, Christians, and Leaders. Tell me about why you wrote this book and what is in the book. Uh, well, I'm 65 years old. I, I, I may look <laughs> or whatever, but I've been, that means I've been Where? in this while. I've been on Where? that. Path. You don't look 65. I'm sorry. You look nobody, amazing. Nobody, nobody ever thought of <laughs> somebody said, uh, said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like 20, I mean, 35, 45, whatever. It's the grace of God. So the, so I've been under leaders, spiritual leaders, especially, and uh, CEOs, even back in Africa and all that, especially Christians and, 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 and Christian leaders. I think God gave me this uh, insight, you know, into writing this book because uh, I believe, according to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 8, which says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. I realized many leaders who worked hard in their lives, in their ministries especially, you know, they fell by the roadside. You know, they, they, they started well, uh, 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 and one way or the other, because of some of these traps, love of money, love of women, or even love of men, because we have Christian women today. So it's both ways. Uh, and pride and not being careful of their environment, you know, the enemy fell there. So uh, I believe God gave me this, uh, this opportunity to write this book in order to warn Christians and leaders to make sure what they started they make sure they, that they finish and wow. they well and finish strong. Yes, I, I totally agree. I mean, if you start with this, you can't just like be mediocre about it. You have to literally go after it with your whole heart. And this yeah. is not the only book that you've written, though. Yes, ma'am. No, not really. Hmm. I've written... Um, uh, I've written a uh, few books, Healing for the Incurable. Uh, uh, I've written book, a book on uh, Health is Wealth. <laughs> and I, uh, and I've, I've just finished a book on, 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 on uh, marital issues and biblical solutions. Yeah, you know, which I'm going to launch in November. Wow, 
Mm-hmm. Wow. To me, this is amazing. I mean, you going after your goals and your dreams, but most of all, for you to come back and have that message and to keep going and to do what you've done is just a, a miracle within itself. You know, what do you tell people when you speak with them and you give them advice or you give them encouraging words? What do you tell them? Yeah, personally, as a pastor, I don't condemn people. That's not me. You know, there are Christians even that love God, but maybe they married wrongly. That's part of it. Uh, some pastors who, who they mean evil, they they started right, they started well. Uh, their, their dream was to help people like I'm helping people, helping families. I, I, I don't only preach to people, but I preach and I help them. I, today alone, I just found somebody a job that brings, even when somebody is looking for a husband or whatever, I help them. I mean, it's, it's my job. It's biblical. It's scriptural. So uh, those are the things that I do uh, and that brings joy to me. So I always uh, encourage people to please, either you are a Christian or a, a leader, you know, make sure you run away from all these traps, you know, traps of women or men, traps of money, you know, hidden trap of internal enemies, external enemies, you know, uh, 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 jealousy, lies, carelessness, go, uh, worldliness, fear, praise of men and hidden agenda and so on and so forth. So I always encourage people to be careful of those. Definitely, definitely. But I want to thank you, Ty, for being on the show. I appreciate it so very much. Where can people find your book and where can they follow you? Yeah, right now, uh, I I mean, people can, they could find me uh, on Amazon, uh, Westbow Press, uh, and some other websites that I don't really have here because web book press really published this book for me mm. by behalf. and they promised to place this book on about probably over 30 uh websites including amazon web book press uh, and some other you know uh, uh websites that i can't remember right now I hear you. I hear it's just too many to remember, but definitely we're going to have the Amazon link in the description box below so that people can actually go ahead and get that from Amazon because that is available there. And uh, I want to thank you again so much, Ty, for being on the show and for taking time out to be here today. I appreciate it. Keep going and keep living and looking young. (laughs) Thank you, sister. I appreciate you. No problem. I appreciate you too. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, bye. All right. God bless you. Mm Bye-bye.